morning, everyone. My name is Ryan. Jeff and I are out here at Yifki, Papua New Guinea this morning, just at a landing here. We're gonna unload some school supplies. They're building a new school just down the hill down there, three buildings actually. And then we're jumping up to Tari and picking up some fuel to come back here. And we'll just set it right over here. These are all empty right now, but they're gonna be for the helicopter that's coming out here in a couple days to do some shuttles to some other places. So we're gonna unload and then get out of here. Well, we're just gonna be picking up one passenger here today, just kind of a standby rate, just to head up there. He needs to get, he actually wants to go to Garoka, but anytime they can get out of the bush. I think it's a five, no, four day hike to the nearest road from this location anywhere. So if they wanna to go to town, jump on like PMV or something like that. Four day hike just to get to that. The school's right down here, kind of where these people are down here. I've shown you guys down there before, and I don't think they've made much progress since the last time. I think Brad and I were out here just a couple of weeks ago. So anyway, we're unloaded now. We're just gonna get our passenger tied down, ready to go and get out of here. We are 5850 today for takeoff, so we'll rotate uh, 56 to 57, and uh, if we had to come back in, we'll be 66 knots. Jeff's gonna let me fly on the way up there. Um, I don't touch the controls from this side very often. He's gonna do the rest of the flying for today. He already did this landing in here. All right, so what do we have scheduled? We have 9,000 going in there. I don't know if that's gonna work or not with the clouds and the terrain and stuff. So we will see, we'll just, my plan is just to head out this valley, probably make a left-hand turn and climb and then cut over that way. So we'll just climb basically up that longer valley right there is my plan. And we're pretty light, so I think we should be able to get up there fairly sure. quick. Do you we make a, a taxi call or? Uh, no, did you cancel earlier? I did, yeah. Okay. You called them on HF earlier? Was we 659 or 8, November Tango Kilo Taxi? You got flight controls? Yeah, I have flight controls. Have a Tango Kilo taxi, Yifki, Tari, 4POB. November Tango Kilo, departure 1, colon 653. 653, next, November Tango Kilo. All stations Yifki, 5 November Tango Kilo will be departing Yifki for Tari, will be on climb 9000. All stations Yifki. All right. Two cones here up on the right, basically that school area is my safe report. We'll be airspeed alive at that point. If for some reason we're not, we need to stop on the runway. Full reverse, heavy braking. If we're going off, cut off, pull off, and shut off. And masters crack our door. After takeoff, we'll consider EPL immediately. Pitching for 85 knots. Consider feather. We'll do cut off, pull off, and shut off. And I'll actually request your help if, if there was an emergency. Um, it would be it'd be a lot easier for you to help me and remembering to do all these things as well because you're not flying so um and we'll make a left hand turn down to the river bed area all right igniters lights inlet furnaces we're 30 degrees at 3000 ish oh 1370 this is idle and gov done and done. 1370, rotate 57. Put my elbow in, brake is off. All right, here we go. All right, your speed is alive. Torque set. 
there as I rotate. I'll lower the nose just for a second until I get my speed, and then we'll pitch for 75. Or, I mean, sorry, seven and a half degrees. Okay. Because we've got a long ways to climb, I'm just going to extend kind of like my whole section going out because I know that I'm going to have to get probably all the way up to 9,000 before we get anywhere out there. So let me just go ahead and lower the nose just a tiny bit. It probably does not feel quite as natural using a right hand over here. No. Right over 90, but go zero degrees. Flaps and slowly bring our prop back on down to 2,000 RPM. For departed time. We'll just say on the hour. And we'll trim for 100 knots for a climb out. Morsby 6538, November Tango Kilo departure. November Tango Kilo, go ahead. November Tango Kilo departed, if keep time on the hour, tracking 166. 4,800 on climb, not above 9,000. Estimate Tari 10, or correction, 19. -er. All right, you hear that? Rrr, 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 rrr. You want to flip my igniters off? Oh, I think it's kilo. No, we put traffic. Never take a kilo, thanks. That's what that noise is. It's the igniters going rrr, rrr, rrr. Okay. Hey, yeah. I think they hear it too, because I hear it when other airplanes freaking uh, turn theirs off, and I'm like, ugh. Well, it's just a 20 minute flight over to Tari. We're just, well, for one, dropping these two passengers oh, off. Okay. I was thinking that the mountains were almost up to 11,000 in between Yifki and Tari. What does it say right there? Uh, there is a 10,380-foot peak kind of right in between, but I think if we veer a little bit to the east... Okay. Um, yeah, looks, so right here, basically we'll just probably cut right across, all the way across those, and it looks like we'll just continue our climb and keeping our keeping it as wide as we can along the whole valley for one so I can see up further on up, but then also just to give it myself... So I might just go up to our minted altitude of 1-1000. Because with the clouds on all the ridges, I think we're going to have to anyways. But that way, it'll give me an idea. Okay, at least until I get to this ridge here, which is probably those, I'll be at my 11,000 by that point. Okay. Morsby 6538, November Tango Kilo. The November Tango Kilo, must go ahead. November Tango Kilo on climb amended, 1-1000. November Tango Kilo amended, 1-1000. No additional reported traffic. Okay, All right, actually, it looks like it's starting to clear up kind of where we were hoping it would. So I'm just going to head on a little bit over to the right. I'm going to just plan on going right through the right side over there. Um, just because there's still, well, we've got 2,000 feet yet to go, and I know we'll be over it, but the clouds will be lower just because we know the terrain is lower. Maybe right through that yellow area would be a good area that I'd be kind of thinking, even without even looking at it, that's probably where the lowest clouds are going to be without having to go 10 miles off of track. Yeah, and you that's know? kind of what we're seeing up ahead as well, too, just yeah. a bit of a trough there. We uh, 15 minutes out by the time we level out. 10 minutes, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and start leveling off now because it looks like we're going to be over top of We're going to be over top, and then we're going to probably start a descent here really shortly after that. There's a little information on Tari if you need it. Uh, 5200, I'm sorry, 5500 feet for elevation, so I'll just turn my this down to 6500 for elevation so I have an idea for pattern altitude in our descent profile at 6500. Runway 1, 4, and 3, 2. And let's just go ahead and put in 600 feet. Top of the descent will be right on that ridge, so I think that will work out well. I'll just leave my terrain off for the time being, just because we're going to be, it'll still be within 1,000 feet. Yep. Unless I have to go up at all over here. All right, now our indicates up to 130. I'll go ahead and bring my Work on back to 1250. I'll just keep probably on this same heading until we get past this bigger ridge just because it's seeing it a little bit clear, and then I'll cut my way in over there. A little bit more left trimming. All right, so pattern altitude 6500. The winds are kind of coming this way, so I'm going to expect to land on the other way. What's the other runway? Uh, it's 1432. 
Okay, so three, two. So we're pretty much lined up almost directly right as. All right, nine minutes out, our fuel selectors are good. Our fuel is about even. Our train is still turned off for the time being because we're just going to be 500 feet over this. Our VREF, we'll get that set up once we get past this bridge so that we're not working through all this stuff and having our head down when we're close to terrain and clouds. And then I'm looking here at the at the valleys. It's kind of a V. So I'll start my descent probably, if I can, right after top of this. Otherwise, that's kind of how I'm planning my descent to come in. You know, there's kind of a ridge that goes up along here that we'll just usually skirt right along. Vertical track. Right. So you could almost skirt that way as well. I could, but, but I think of... it's what we're looking at is it's, oh, I wonder if it's in between. I don't know this area well enough, okay. and I don't know if that's going all the way in the valley or not. Okay. So, so you might as well just hold it for now. For right now, like it doesn't look like really far out there. So that's where I'm like, uh, and you can see the clouds are kind of coming down the rest of the big valley. And I think because this is such a huge valley and it's open over there, I'm just assuming that it's going to be open and 90% of the whole valley is my thinking. All right, now I'll just start my slow descent, maybe at two or 300 feet, just so I can crest over top of these ones. We're starting to see yeah, a little more, further yep. in, and we, the clouds look like they're continuing to go down. So my plan is just to skirt over these and continue down into to the longest route that I can down in there. Plan on entering into a right downwind for runway 32. Now that we're close enough in here, we're in heading mode. I'll hit my OBS and runway 320. Three, sorry, 320. There we go. Twist. Now we're going to be for sure clearing these. I've got my 6500 for my pattern altitude, and I'm just looking for my little cyan arc right there just to let me know how much I really need to go or we can go over here I have to hit direct two to get it to tell me but I'll ask you that so the max I'll go is just 800 for now and then I'll just adjust my power from there on out speed from there okay all right lights inlet are done our V ref is our landing speed we 5700 feet or 50, so 5,700 pounds, so 65 knots. So 65. Our VREF is done. If we have to go around, it's power up 20 degrees. Pitch up for 12 degrees, and we'll go straight ahead or maneuver as required. And then try it again. Up and harness. All stations, Tari, Kodiak, November, Tango, Kilo, 14 miles to the north, passing 10,300. Circuit time, Tari, 17. Hey, thanks for letting me fly. This is a lot less boring. Oh, I, it's good for me, too. Just, I, I think it mixes up the day a little bit. Yeah. No, it's a different perspective when I'm not manipulating everything. Three minutes out, 10 miles to go almost. We're going to be going 65, 75, 85, 85 on downwind. So I'll probably enter my downwind, probably around, shooting for around 95 knots and just slowly slowing down. Get our 10 degrees of flaps in and stuff. I'll do an entry call because I did a 15, so I'll just do a five mile sure. and then entering. So it helps me remember to like do everything too. It's what's well, easy when you're sitting here just observing, but then when you're flying, it does. It takes, especially when I don't fly that often anymore. <laughs> it takes a lot to remember like what you're doing, and especially sitting on this side. I'm just like, and like my all, all, routine, all the stuff that you would like my brain do. power is being used for like where to put my hand as opposed to how many miles we are my speed or things like that that's definitely different as i'm coming down i'm just slowly just pulling a tiny bit of power okay. as we're coming to maintain kind of about the same airspeed otherwise yeah, it's your... just going to keep going and going and going because our speed's going to increase as we come down all stations, Tari 1285, November Tango Kilo, six miles to the north, northwest 8,000. We'll be joining into a right down runway 32, Tari. Orsby 6538, November Tango Kilo. November Tango Kilo, go ahead. November Tango Kilo in the circuit, Tari. Cancel SAR. November Tango Kilo, Tari, SAR, terminated. November Tango Kilo. 
autopilot off, 10 degrees of flaps. Going to 6,500. All stations, sorry, 1285, November to Kilo, joining right down with 32, sorry. I'm just keeping my power at 440, kind of the whole way in, knowing that I'm going to be continuing to send to 6500, and then once I get to my 65, then I'm just going to level off, continue to bleed the airspeed down to my 85 that I'm looking for. Okay. There's a 65, we'll level off. Go ahead and reduce my power. We'll slow to our 85, and we'll go down to uh, 6200. Final, or it's 5,500, yeah? Yeah, that's what the chart said. 55, yep. All right. At 1.5, uh, it still seems a bit close for, even 1.6 still seems a bit close for where I want to turn. 162, turning base. All right, we'll turn here. Went down to 6,000, slowing to 75. Full flaps. Pop and harness is done. Checklist is complete. Slow to 65. We'll have a little bit of a headwind. Turning final now. A little quick on the descent. Acting. It's a power. Now we'll go for a roundish. 500. 500. Hold the fast. Hold fast. 650 on the descent. But to the right, correcting. 800 on the descent. Following it. Continuing. But right. And that's a lot more work from this side. <laughs> Takes so much more mental power. Fly with the power with your left hand. <laughs> We're just picking up a couple field drums right here, heading right back over to you know, another 20 minute flight. So uh, stick around just for a second and we'll show you how we load up these 200 liters of fuel in big old barrels. Welcome here to Tari. Just a couple years ago, I think maybe three years ago, this actually was a gravel airstrip and they just paved it, yeah, like three years ago. So they're building a new terminal down here. I forgot to mention that on our way in. In fact, I forgot to even look at it over there. But like I said, we're gonna go ahead and dip the fuel real quick, check what we have just because this is flat. We won't be flat and Yifki, so we know what we have going all the way back to WeWAC because we have our minimum fuel today. Jeff is just now taking out the three seats that we have right here. We're gonna put a barrier net in there and then put two of these type of drums of fuel, which is 400 liters for our helicopter that's gonna be doing shuttles, uh, I think later next week. Jeff has finished tying this down. We've got each one individually put strapped down. Then we have it tied down here with ropes on all side as well as our barrier net right up in here. All right, well, just because we had to deal with some winds coming in here, we had to climb all the way up to 12,000, all the way up to 11,000, just coming in here. 
and then to Yifki, and we've got to go all the way back. We brought our minimum fuel just so that we could bring as much stuff out here as possible, out for Yifki, the school, and people we were bringing. So we actually got to put on a little bit more because we ended up using a little bit more than we thought. We had to go around at Yifki that we weren't planning on. So we're going to put on 40 liters just so that we can land with our minimum VFR reserve back into WeWAC in another hour and a half or so. That's it, thanks so much for joining along. Hey, if you guys wanna pick up a pair of these sunglasses, check out my link down below. Or if you like those checklist boxes that I use, take off and landing. I've also got those available for sims, for flights, or for real airplanes, piston, turbine, whatever. So thanks so much guys, see you next time.